Um, yeah, I'm pretty much all over that. Um, they're just taking it precaution, like with precaution, um, as you would um, do most of running um, during pre-season, but won't um, get fully into it until January. Yeah, yeah um, so. goals would definitely be um, complete pre-season, and then um, hopefully if I got a chance in that cup and and definitely a goal for me to be play some senior footy at some stage next year. Um, we. When, when I did it, we went back to SA, um, spoke it over with the surgeon, um, physio, um, and me and mum spoke about it a bit, and she did a lot of research on it. The surgeon said if we wanted to give it a go, then I was a suitable candidate, and um, yeah, I came to the conclusion that I would go for it. I guess I did have, I knew I wasn't going to play at the end of that year, um, but I gave, gave it seven, eight months. If I had normal knee recovery, I wouldn't be playing round one the next year, and, and um, yeah, pulled up for round one and have no other problems with it. Um, even on the night, I had absolutely no clue. Um, I know clubs tell you this and that, but you don't really know what they're actually thinking. Um, I was just happy to end up at a club like Carlton, definitely. Yeah, definitely having Daniel down at Geelong. It's 30, 40 minutes down the highway, so it's um, not too much trouble to go and see him. And having him here for support is definitely very, very handy. Um, he said, yeah, just give it, give it all you got and enjoy it while you can because you never know how long it's going to last. Oh, it's been pretty, pretty amazing, like dream come true. Um, pretty overwhelmed when I came to the club. A lot of people here to help you out. Um, so, yeah, I was very happy to come to Carlton. Yeah, settling quite well. Uh, this week is probably more surreal because all the boys are around us. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been good. Oh, of course, Juddy. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Mur Mur Mark Murphy as well. So, yeah, it was good. To, uh, I did a few drills with him, so got to know him a bit better. Yeah, it is a little bit, but I mean, they're all friendly, they're all just normal blokes, so they welcome me really well, so I feel very comfortable here, so it's been good. Yeah, I used to do a lot of aths as a young bloke. Um, I sort of gave that up when I was about 15 years old. Um, I represented Victoria a few times, um, came third at national championships twice, um, so yeah, that's a bit, bit of a wrap up on it. Not really, we were all jumping for joy, um, then I went to Carlton, so... I wasn't really too fussed where I went as long as I made it, so yeah, I'm quite happy here. Oh, it was just my parents and my sister and myself just sitting on the couch watching it and uh, it was pretty amazing when your name gets called out, so we were pretty thrilled. I had about 40 mates run over after it, so yeah, it was good to celebrate. Um, we'll obviously get through pre-season, see how that goes, and um, I haven't really thought about too many goals for senior footy yet, but I'm sure I'll um, sit down with the coaches and figure a few out soon. Uh, I think we're going to ease into it, um, but then we'll commence full training um, when we're fit, I guess. So. Yeah, he was actually um, with me at the night, on the night. He was actually yeah, at my house watching it with us. So, yeah, when he saw, saw my name run out to Carlton, he was just yeah, stoked to get the opportunity. And it's a good connection there because he knows a lot of the boys. Like, he's Scotland, he's my mentor, and he's good friends with him. So, it's, yeah, it worked out quite well. Uh, yeah, a lot. Um, his knowledge of the game is huge. Probably the biggest thing that improved in my game is my defensive pressure and my fitness. Um, coming into the uh, top age 18s, I probably wasn't the fittest bloke and a bit attacking and not, not too defensive. So, yeah, he worked really hard with me on that over the pre-season. And, yeah, it's really turned my game upside down. So I've got a lot of my success to thank to Nick. So. Yeah, yeah, but um, I copped the knock out here at Busy Park in a couple of games before the grand final. and. It wasn't too bad, I played a bit sore, but after the grand final it really, really blew up. So at draft camp I got all the tests done and yeah, had a few bits of torn cartilage. So I went in and all got that all fixed up about six weeks ago. So just in the rehab stage now and yeah, starting to run and yeah, starting to starting to really build up, which is good. I like to think in two weeks probably, I'll be out there doing 100% work with the boys and yeah, really putting my name up there and trying to, trying to make a statement. Yeah, I think so. It's obviously the biggest year of your life. It's the last year to actually Get oh, it's not the last year, but it's yeah, it's a big stepping stone to, to reach AFL level. Um, coming into the under 18s program as a bottom age, I probably wasn't as prepared as I should have been, and yeah, they're not like I said, work really hard with Nick Stevens. And if you can come in fit and yeah, with an open mindset that anything can happen, then yeah, you give yourself a really good opportunity. Uh, they give you a call in the night, um, you, yeah, you really never know what to expect. You're always a bit timid, a bit nervous. Like I said, with the likes of Chris Judd and Mick Mouldhouse, the new coach, but once you get here, all the boys are just the same. They're just all footy players and they're great blokes, and yeah, they make you feel very welcome. So it's been really good.